Morning everyone, unfortunately I'm still ill. Uh, my plan for this week, if I wasn't ill, was to try and flip that £100 challenge account. Um, I am pla I've actually stopped that at the minute. I plan to actually do it once I'm better and I'll live stream it all. So I'll do like a YouTube live so we can kind of not trade together but you can see me taking the trades live. Um, the reason for this video is just wanted to get a video out for Thursday. Uh, if we have a look at what's going on, obviously I'm in a sell on USD CAD. Uh, it's currently in around uh, 8 pip drawdown at the minute. I'm not really that bothered because this trade with the trend, so it is going to reverse. I do have a 15 pip stop loss on this one. I will set a 15 pip stop loss just there, minus 15 pips. So just to let you know, I do actually set the stop losses. Um, these are my trades so far this week. I've just closed a Euro USD sell off early. I've closed that off early. Uh, by the way, I'm trading my other account, uh, the one I showed before I went on uh, before I went on holiday, just to show you. Um, in fact, I'll show you all the results. Uh, last three months, there you go. There. So these are basically since I started the account, all of the results. Uh, like I said, I was going to do my £100 challenge account, but obviously being ill, just, I've got no energy. Um, so, yeah, basically I took a sell on USD CAD. We popped a Mogwai signal just there. Uh, we had a nice bit of diversions as well. Why did I take that particular trade? Again, just go over to some one hour, uh, one hour time frame. And what do we have? We have a area of resistance. We have price creating lower lows, as you can see just here low and previous low so okay we're probably going to come down from this level i'm not expecting a big move but we are expecting a move i'm expecting you can see here we are starting we're just zooming now okay you can see here we are reacting from this level which is good that's what i want to see uh so i'll go back to the one minute time frame on that one uh euro usd was a sell on here uh, just there uh, and now I'm waiting for GPUSD to give me my first Mogwai signal for London Open. Um, nothing really else. USD card, I've explained that. Euro USD. Um, gold, missed a nice little buy, but I'm not trading gold. The, the, there's an open buy at the minute on gold, but that's not me. That's my EA. Um, uh, Aussie US dollar. Aussie US dollar is just in a downtrend, so nothing happening there. Uh, unfortunately, that's about it, everyone. That is about it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come back when I get London open on GPUSD. Hopefully, we can take the trade. Hopefully, we get the trade in the next 20 minutes. Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, but the minute, it's just a sell on USD CAD. We're starting to pop diversion arrows as well, which is great. Uh, it just shows that we're slowing down at this level. In fact, let me just show you something that I don't think... Uh, if we just go to some naked charts now, and if I was to add a volume profile indicator, I've been talking about it a lot in my videos, um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of volume coming in at this level. Okay, it might be better on the one hour charts. Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely, it's telling me there's volume here just there at that level, just there, you can see here, I don't know if you can see, if I zoom in here, um, zoom in just there, can you see that little volume, that big dark blue line just there, that is the center line, tells me where the most amount of volume is, uh, and it's telling me there is a level just there, uh, if I scale down to the 15 minute charts, obviously there's the level, one minute charts, we've, we've spiked right above that level actually, I think I'm just about to be stopped out, actually. Where's my... Uh... Okay, no, I'm still in the trade. I'm still in the trade. Getting very close, though. Very, getting very close to stopped out. Uh, but I'm not bothered. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll pause the video. I'll come straight back. Hi everyone, uh, so I got stopped out on USD CAD, uh, but you know what? I'm gonna enter it again, uh, hold on here. I'm going to enter another sell on USD CAD. So just to show you, I got stopped out. There you go there, I got stopped out about 15 pips. Uh, there you go there, more than I wanted to, uh, but it is what it is. I do get losses, I'm not immune from it. Um, the reason why I'm entering again is same again, okay? MACD has gone overboard, Mogwai signal, okay? Let's look at the resistance or support around this area. So again, we'll go to some naked charts, we'll have a look at the one hour. 
and we are coming to this level here. With Dev, we're still at this level. We're still sitting there, but it, it, it's it's. If I just zoom in, I had my level like this just there. That's where I had my level. So if I went to 15 minute charts, you will see where my level was just there. Okay, and obviously we spiked. You know, we spiked quite a few pips above it, 15 pips above it, and I thought, okay. What does that mean? Does it mean we're going to break to the upside? Okay, well, let's look again. Let's look at the one hour charts. One hour charts is still telling me it is potentially going to come down. Um, and if I actually just, you know, if I just move my uh, support area, just uh, my resistance area, just slightly higher, just above this area here, you can actually see, okay, we're actually potentially rejecting from this level there. So, um, so same again, okay, so re-entered this back down for a sell. Uh, it looks like the sellers are starting to come into play. Does this mean that this is gonna go into a downtrend now? No, it's just a case of monitoring it. Um, obviously I've lost 15 pips. Be nice if I can get my 15 pips back, maybe have a one-to-one, -one, 15 pips stop loss, 15 pip take profit, go back to break even. Um, this is kind of where money management comes in because you don't wanna be greedy and say to yourself, well actually, I want to go and get a, you know, a 50 pip take profit on this to get me a massive win back. No, okay, uh, you know, we still got analyzed, we still got to get our focus on, our discipline on. Uh, still waiting for a, oh, help. Oh my God, I'm gonna to have to take this. I'm literally gonna to have to take this. This is really gonna annoy me now. Do you know how frustrating that is? I was literally waiting for GP London Open to happen. And it's happened here. If this has gone five, yeah, look. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Five pips on GP USD and I missed it. I missed it. Look, the price has already gone 10 pips. 10 pips. Oh dear me. That you can tell that I'm ill. It's like I want to be on my game. I want to be focused, but I just my mind's just like, yeah, you need to go to bed. Too much, too much antibiotics. Um, I've entered this very late. Um, see if I can get get what I can. I'm, I'm look. Let me just again. Let me just have a look at it because Matt D. Look, six pips TP here on London Open. Yes, I know it went nine pips over here um right okay so let me go back to this setup here let's look at some price action because it could still be a valid mogwai signal because macd has gone over sold mogwai signal here let's have a quick look let's go to some naked charts uh, let's have a look at the 15 minute charts here Okay, we're at an area of support. There's definitely an area of support there. Price has created higher highs. Okay, well, let's have a look at the one hour charts. Okay, uh, one hour charts is definitely an area of support. Maybe we might get another five pips out of this trade. Maybe, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's not the end of the world. You know, if I end up, if I end up having a losing trading session today, then so be it, <laughs> okay? Uh, it is what it is. Um, so, okay, so GPUSD is still going up. Hopefully, USD CAD still coming down. That's great. Um, USD CAD is sitting at around six pips. I'll put a take profit of 10 pips on this one. Um, and GPUSD, obviously, five pips there. I haven't got five pips, but I will have. There we go, there. What I'll do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll come straight back. Hi everyone, update on uh, GPUSD and USD CAD. So GPUSD finally hit take profit, which is good. Um, I, I wouldn't say look, but obviously I entered this very late. Um, beautiful. Uh, USD CAD also won as well. Beautiful. Uh, you know what, it's annoying because that was where my entry point was initially. And, you know, it's like, it stopped me out and then reversed. So luckily I caught it back at the top, obviously divergence as well, kind of confirm that because that's what you want to see. You know, if price is going against you and you think, well, oh, did I actually make the right choice? Check, is price slowing down? Do we have divergence? Do we have another area of support and resistance? If we do, re-enter the trade, we trade without emotion. Um, today's not my finest day. Um, we finished today off with a nice little 20 pound made, but you know what, we're back at profit. Um, you know, it's not, a, I wouldn't say it's a profitable day, it's not an amazing day, but 
you know, it's proof that we got a loss. It's proof that I managed to get it back. Looking back on the charts, GPUSD, um, and maybe I could have held that. If I actually entered right at this level, I could have actually held this for 10 pips, which, which would have meant I made more money. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to sit here and try and chase more trades. And uh, I'm just going to call it a day. I'm going to go back to bed. Uh, but there you go there. Nice, quick trading session. We got a loss on USD CAD. We rent, we entered on USD CAD back to break even. And then we took London Open on GPUSD and we won the trade. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you. And I'll see you on another video.